up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. This is our all-purpose Barbie room that we made in a previous video. It was this one right here. Confession, the plan was to make the Barbie cafe because I didn't think I would ever have a chance to actually see it. But then I ran out of time, so I had to change the video and ended up making a multi-purpose room. But then on my trip to New York, we did go to the Malibu Barbie Cafe. Dream come true, but I'm totally not ready for that dream to end. So let's set up our own Barbie Cafe in miniature for the dolls. I bought this Barbie playset on Amazon. It's called the Beach Boardwalk with Barbie Brooklyn and Malibu dolls, priced at $49.99. I don't know if this is going to give us that Barbie cafe feel, but it comes with a nice amount of food items. So I thought, let's take a look. Okay, this is kind of cool. We have a surfboard shelf. The base is made to look like sand. We have a counter with a grill so we can pretend like we're making food. There's a little space for a fryer that is included and loaded with french fries. Ooh, check that out. The back is finished. We can place this right there. So I guess they're cooking the food right in front of you. We have places to hold Barbie items, silver colored shelving, and a little Barbie flag. There's a plastic banner at the top, and stickers are included so we can add a little color. And we can decide which colors to use, so there's a little customizing there. There's some shelving underneath with printed backgrounds. We also get an ice cream cart where we can apply more stickers. There's a card reader, little Barbie bank cards that can go inside the card reader. Kinda love that. There's a little freezer for the ice cream and they fit into the little circles inside. Or we can leave them on top. The back wheels can roll. The front wheel is stationary. When rolling the cart, you just tip it back slightly and then it seems to work okay. If you go back too far, these little things right here will stop you from rolling it. Yeah, see, there's a handle and an umbrella with a sprinkle pattern. This playset comes with two towels, two cameras, two drinks with straws, two pairs of sunglasses, two bottles that I assume are sunblock, ketchup and mustard, a bag of cookie sandwiches, a bag of trail mix, two orders of fries, bananas, a spatula, a hot dog sculpted to a plate, a hamburger in a wrapper, a puppy wearing glasses, the glasses are removable, two hip bags that are open at the top, and two dolls with the basic five points of articulation, and painted on bathing suits. Here is Malibu, she is pixelated, comes with a pink hair clip, a pink sarong that velcros, and pink sandals. Here we get Brooklyn with wavy hair, a pink headband. Her face screening is not pixelated, however mine does have a few dots between her eyebrows. She wears a green sarong with pink stitching, and she comes with orange sandals. I'm not a huge fan of painted on bathing suits, so... We'll let them take a break. While they're gone, let's see if this playset works for our cafe. I do like the surfboard shelf, but I don't know. Since it was the Malibu Barbie Cafe, maybe we should use the Barbie Loves the Ocean Beach Shack. We reviewed this a while back, about two years ago. I saw it on Amazon, for $13.99 today. And it even says Malibu. I'm gonna take the little sign and cut it in half, then use poster putty to attach it to one of the beams. So it takes up less counter space, and now we can pretend we have a menu. Since this is a cafe, we need tables and chairs. I have this one, it's from a Barbie playset from a while back. But I don't know, at the Barbie Cafe they had wood tables. So I kind of want something that looks like wood. 
I have this one, which would kind of be perfect, but I only have one and I want at least two tables. So let's try this table set from the dollar store. At $1.25, it's easy on the budget. However, these tables do sit a little low, but I do get white chairs, which I saw at the cafe. I was able to get two table and chair sets in this space. However, it didn't leave a lot of room for all those photo ops. But we do have the Barbie stone wall, so I'm gonna say that can totally count. And let's just cut the Barbie logo off of packaging. This is from the RC car. I place a little poster putty on the back, then attach it to the wall. Let's add some plants, cause they were kind of everywhere. Bring over some Barbie food from other play sets to make our own quick little miniature Barbie cafe for the dolls. Just be sure to make a reservation before showing up. Now the dolls can grab a quick bite to eat before heading to the movies. We are about to go watch Barbie the movie. It feels like we've been waiting like forever because we have. And we're back. I got a Barbie drink floaty. It looks like a flamingo. I am totally going to use this as a doll pool floaty. Back to the cafe because I wasn't able to get the Barbie popcorn car and I have strong feelings about that. Just give me a moment so I can work through this pain. With Barbie beauty products. When it comes to the new Barbie merch, like everything that's been coming out for the movie, I haven't been able to find a lot. I totally live in a black hole. But I did find this Barbie glow jelly face mask from Ulta. It's by Truly and it really is super jelly. Look at that. I just apply it to clean skin and it doesn't need to be washed off. In the comments, some of you wanted to know how do foodie mini brands compare to Barbie food? Since we made a cafe, I thought this was a good time to take a look. Here are some Barbie drinks with whipped cream. We'll use mini Toya today. She's still dressed for the movie. The doll can hold it and the whipped cream is painted. Here's a Foodie Mini Brands drink with whipped cream from Cinnabon. See that? I said Cinnabon, not Cinnabon. There is definitely a size difference. The whipped cream from Foodie Mini Brands is more detailed and we can still get our dolls to hold it. Foodie Mini Brands fries from Jack in the Box versus Barbie fries from the Boardwalk playset. Here they are side by side. Once again, I think Foodie Mini Brands takes the win. Here's a Barbie cheeseburger glued to a plate. And here's a Foodie Mini Brands burger glued to a container. The Foodie Mini Brands is larger. We can see the difference in the lettuce, the patty, and the bun. Here's the Barbie burger that we got with the Boardwalk playset. It is wrapped in paper and we can see little sesame seeds on the top. Here's a Foodie Mini Brands burger wrapped in paper. It's actually wrapped in paper, whereas the Barbie one is wrapped in plastic. And we have lots of details there. And both of them have sesame seeds on top. Barbie sushi. It comes on a little wood platter. We have some wasabi. And here is the Mini Brands sushi. You can still see some texture even though it's enclosed. And the printing on the top really does make it look realistic. And here they are both side by side. In our last Foodie Mini Brands video, we got pizza from Pizza Hut. I think this one is meat lovers. You can see the pepperoni. All the details or coloring on top is printed. Here is a pizza slice from Barbie. They are also using the printing on top, which does add to the details. I think the Barbie pizza is actually pretty comparable next to the Foodie Mini Brands pizza. Only difference is the Barbie pizza is attached to the plate and the Foodie Mini Brands pizza is removable. But other than that, if you're just looking at the print, I think they're pretty similar. My Foodie Mini Brands cookie is attached to a clear rectangular plate. My Barbie cookies are attached to a regular plate, but to me, the Foodie Mini Brands looks more realistic. 
So when comparing Foodie Mini Brands and Barbie Food, Foodie Mini Brands tends to be a little larger, and they seem to be more detailed. But keep in mind, the brand is called Foodie Mini Brand, so it's kind of their specialty. Whereas Barbie has dolls, playsets, fashion, and accessories. But I am a firm believer in mixing brands, so maybe our little Barbie cafe can serve Foodie Mini Brands. Because it's my miniverse. Thank you for joining us while we set up a Barbie cafe for the dolls. Oh yeah, and don't forget, our cafe has a little outside scene. So there are more areas for photo ops. And this might be a good place to put the ice cream cart. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.